everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again. I hope you all had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday and are looking forward to some of our activities today and also our um, Google Meet meeting tomorrow. We will be having a very special visitor and we'll be um, reading a story together just to kind of um, look at that story and discuss some of the things that we see within that book. So um, make sure to log in tomorrow to our Google Meet. It'll again be at two o'clock and I'll send out a reminder as well. Um, I'm also going to be posting a video that kind of explains how to join Google Meet. I know a couple um, of families had trouble logging in last time, so this video I thought was really um, helpful in walking through the steps and joining. So I'll be sure to post that as well on our Google Classroom. Okay, so let's take a look at our schedule. We will start with the hello. We'll explain today's activities for Thursday. We'll have a challenge of the day. We will read a story together, a quick story, and then I will send you on your way. So let's go ahead and do our good morning song together. You can join in with me and make the motions. Here we go. singing that song with me each and every morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our zoophonic song again together today. That's um, where we look at the letter name, we say the letter sound, ah, we make the motion for our zoophonics friend, and that helps us to really um, understand these letters. Okay, so let's go ahead and start that together. Please join with me. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Alley alligator says ah. A. Baba Bear says B. 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 Katina Cat says K. K. C. Dee Deer says D. 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 Ellie Elephant says E. 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 Francy Fish says F. Gordo Gorilla says G. 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 Honey Horse says H. Any inchworm says I. 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 Every jellyfish says J. 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 K. Kangaroo says K. 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 Lizzie Lizard says L. L. Missy Mouse says M. M. Nigel Night Owl says M. N. Timothy T 
Tiger says. T. Umber Umbrella Bird says. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, you. Vincent Vampire Bat says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. V. Willie Weasel says. W. 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 Xavier Fox says. X. 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 Yes, he yes. Yeah, yeah, why? Zebra says, Z. You did it! You learned all the sounds! Very good. So thank you for practicing that um, Zoophonics um, video with me. It really is helpful in us learning all of our letter names and the sounds that they make. And that's a really important skill for us to have going into kindergarten. So thank you for practicing that with me. Let's go ahead and look at our at-home learning packet. Today our theme is going to be focused around colors. So looking um, at a couple of different options that we have down here to do today um, that are around that theme of colors. So for example, for reading, one activity you could do together at home, if you have a story that talks about colors, um, you can read that together and talk about if it's a fiction or non-fiction book. So remember, fiction means that it's not real, um, it's usually make-believe or has characters that we wouldn't really see in um, the real world. A nonfiction is usually um, informational text that gives us um, that gives us ideas of maybe photographs or different facts about something that we know are true. So uh, maybe find a book together. There's um, great websites listed also on our at-home learning packets of ways that you can um, access books online as well through libraries and through other apps. So check that out too. Find a book together. Um, for letters and sounds, for our literacy focus today, one thing you can do is to find 10 things that are your favorite color at home. And then to clap the um, number of syllables in each word. So for example, if my color, my favorite color was yellow, I would go around my house and find everything that I could that's yellow, right? So for example, maybe I found a yellow marker, I would clap the syllables in marker. I go, marker. Okay. Another good way to do this is to put your, um, your hand under your chin and to see whenever your chin goes down, that's where we know that syllable break. So we have um, different syllables in each word. If I was to find something else yellow in my room or in my um, house, maybe I found a banana. So I would listen again for the parts. Banana. Three parts, right? Good. Maybe um, I was walking around again and I found a car, a toy yellow car. I would listen carefully, car, one, right? So that's um, one of your activities to do together today. Find 10 different items that are your favorite color and to listen for those parts and to um, clap those syllables together. For math, if you have crayons and markers and colored pencils at home, a fun thing to try is to dump them all out and then to sort them all by their color. That's a really important skill to have. So um, if I dumped all my colors out, I'd put all the reds together, i put all the oranges together, um, and maybe even count which group has the most, which group has the least amount, or which group has the same number on, on both sides, okay? For your fine motor on your, one of your, um, in our learning packet on one of the back pages, there's a section for us to do tracing on um, some really tricky lines. Um, so what you could do is using those markers that you dumped out to, to sort, you can use those markers to trace the lines and to really try to get um, your tracing inside those lines. It's a, it's a really good um, skill to have as well. For your art or sensory focus, there's also um, a recipe to make bubble foam. So you could create bubble foam at home using that recipe on our packet. You can make um, re yellow, red, and blue foam and mix together the foam, um, different types, maybe red and yellow, and see what you get. Uh, maybe mix, mix together red and blue and see what color you get through that. So um, be creative and think about the different colors you can make using that bubble foam. For your science activity, <clears throat> you can try an experiment where you can see where, whether items sink or float. So you can find a toy for each um, color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It doesn't necessarily have to be all of those. But um, to think, question, and ask yourself, is this, do I think this item is going to sink? So sink down to the water, or is it going to float on the top, the surface of the water? So before you test it out, uh, make that prediction and see, were you right? Did that item float, 
or did that item sink? Okay. So those are just a few of our activities to try together today. Again, you are making um, a list. Each day we practice those writing skills are so important for us to continue to hold a pencil and to practice um, making the letters and the words that we know. So um, try your list out. A good one today to try is your favorite colors. I haven't filled mine in yet because I wanted to give um, to let you think on your own what your favorite colors are. Don't um, don't just copy what Mrs. Dawson's doing. Okay, so think about what your favorite colors are and then list them. And maybe you can draw an object that is that color next to um, next to the word. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and look at our story together today that we're going to read. I have a um, a really quick story, and it's one of our readers that we have in our classroom. So it's, it's um, sight words that we know. So that throughout this book, your child could probably independently read this book without my help. So maybe um, if you can see the words with me, you can join in. It's going to have a lot of repetitive um, text, the same, the same words throughout the story. So that's helpful for us um, as beginning readers um, to see that repetitive text. And maybe you can follow along with me and um, read that with me. Okay? So the title is going to be I see colors. So I see colors. And this book is going to show us um, a lot of different objects that are certain colors. And now we see real photographs throughout this book. So it's probably going to be a nonfiction story because it's going to give us facts about what colors are and where colors can be found. So let's go ahead and read this together. I see colors. The um, author who wrote the words in this book was Roxanne Lanslark, and the um, photography, so that means the pictures, it wasn't drawn, it was taken by a camera, and that was by Keith Berger. So let's go ahead and read this together. I see colors. And here's our title page, it says the same thing. Can you read this part for me? I see colors. How many words did we point to, to read? Let's check. One, two, three, very good. I see colors. So when you're pointing under those words to read, if you have books like this at home as well, make sure you're using that, that finger for one-to-one. -one. I see colors. Very good. Let's read. Hmm. Can you see this page? Yeah. Do you know these words here? Let's read them together. I see red. Very good. I see red. Remember I pointed three times again. There was three words here. Let's look at the next page. What color do we see now? Blue, right? Let's check. I see blue. You are right. Very good. <clears throat> what color do we see now? Yellow. So let's point and read. I see yellow. Look at all the different items that are yellow. Hmm. What color is this? It starts with the g, g. Green, you're right, good, checking the picture. I see green. What color is this? That's just an O. I see orange, very good. What about here? I see brown, good. Now here is where the text changes. We still have our first two words. I see colors all around. Let's read that again together. I see colors all around. Very good. So you guys did a great job um, logging in with me today and listening to all of our fun activities that we have to choose from. Again, we will be having our, our whole class Google Meet together. Um, I'm going to be posting a video for us just to kind of clarify some of those um, logging in issues we were having. And um, it also just gives us some more information about turning your camera on and off. So you don't need to necessarily appear on the screen. The screen, if you don't want to, you can turn your camera off and he'll show you that. He'll also show you how to mute your mic or unmute your mic and um, how to end the call. So it's kind of helpful just to watch. So that'll be our challenge for today is for you to look at that video um, just to kind of 
clarify those questions that we had before we have our Google Meet tomorrow at 2 p.m. Again, we're gonna have a really special visitor. I'm excited to see um, this person that's gonna join our meeting together, and they're gonna do a really fun activity with us, as well as a read aloud, okay? So be ready when you go um, come to our Google Meet to be ready to really listen carefully in maybe a quiet space where there's not too much noise in the background so you can listen carefully to our special visitor and so that you can um, listen carefully to our story to answer some questions about the text, okay? So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for our Google Meet. Have a great Thursday. Bye.